Welcome to Wilson Partitions. With locations in California, Texas, and Connecticut, Wilson is the source for interior aluminum doors, frames, sliders, and glazing systems. This video will go over the installation instructions for a projected profile door frame with side light. Locate the opening by checking the box contents provided. The box and opening numbers will be written on the end of the packages. Note that larger units may require more than one box. Check the dimensions and square of the rough opening. The rough opening width should be the nominal door width plus the daylight opening of the side lights plus the width of the intermediate verticals plus one and a half inches. The rough opening height should be the nominal door height plus one inch. Refer to the drywall framing instructions on our website for important information regarding stud placement and other framing requirements. First, attach two SC1 clips to the side light end of the h mullion. Hold the clips back slightly. Then, slip the h mullion header over the drywall and center it in the opening. If the jams were ordered with scribe, cut the jams to the required height. Slide the CC2 corner clip into the top segmented stud of the hinge jam. With the header level, hold the hinge jam at an angle and slip the upper portion over the wall. Pushing upwards, slide the rest of the jam over the wall, making sure the jam is plumb. Notch the top of the outside glass jam for the drywalls, then slip it into the opening. Level the header and attach both CC2 and SC1 clips to the H mullion. Align the frame to the scheduled opening width, making sure the jams are equal and plumb. The scheduled opening width is to be maintained on both sides of the jam. Square and plumb the jam legs. Anchor the hinge jam to the wall using 1 and 5 8 inch self-tapping drywall screws. Use a minimum of three screws per stud segment per side. Attachment should roughly align on all frame faces. Install the snap-in door header. Snap a chalk line between both jams for intermediate vertical and sill alignment. Slide the HC head clip into the top and the FC floor clip into the bottom of the strike jam. Bring the strike side jam up under the H mullion. Make sure the scheduled opening width is correct and fashion the HC clip to the head and the FC clip to the floor. Snap the glass pocket into the back of the strike jam, making sure it aligns with the glass jam. Install the glass base between the strike jam and outside glass jam using two SC1 clips on each end. Hold the clips back slightly from the end and end from the sides to allow room to snap on the glass stops. The glass base typically sets on 3 quarter inch plywood supplied by others. If there are intermediate vertical mullions, notch the top of the glass jams to allow 5 8 penetration up into the H mullion. Attach two SC1 clips to the top of the glass jam and secure it to the H mullion at the desired location. Attach the bottom of the vertical to the glass base using two more SC1 clips. Snap in the glass pocket to the vertical glass jam. If there are intermediate horizontals, place them at the desired height between the vertical mullions and fasten them using SC1 clips at each end. S install the glass stops on the glass base and intermediate horizontals. The last step is to install the door stops. Measure the opening and cut off any excess from the bottom of the stops if necessary. Attach the door stops by hooking the inside leg nearest the door on the receiver tab and lightly tap with a rubber mallet toward the outer edge of the stop. The SS shim strike plate is inserted here for proper strike plate alignment. And that's how you install a projected profile door frame with side light. If you have any questions, visit our website at wilsonpart.com.